Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And your girl Fanny Longo. And we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video, but before we get into the reaction, guys, I wanna say thank you so much for uh, subscribing to our channel. We really want to get to 20,000 subscribers, but uh, before the end of this year, I know we can do it. I know we can get there. Of course with the help. Yes, because of the help, yeah. So uh, today we're gonna do another reaction video. And uh, this one right here is this is why depression is on the rise. So without any further ado, let's get it. Then we complain about not being content, not being happy. When we've converted the world into a an immoral playground, is that what we want? May Allah grant us happiness. I'm not saying don't enjoy. I'm not saying don't fulfill challenges and trends. I'm saying if they're good and if they're worthwhile, if they're going to bring you closer to Allah or if they don't have something immoral, unacceptable or dirty in them, Alhamdulillah, you may participate. But remember, ultimately, it's your connection with Allah that will help your mind, your spirit, your soul, your heart and your body. Subhanallah. So develop that relationship with Allah. Learn to discipline yourself. Do you think the rules of Islam are there simply to make your lives difficult? That's what was spread at the time of the Sahaba radiallahu anhum from the very beginning. So Allah revealed the verses of Surah Taha to say, we have not sent this Quran down in order for it to be a means of distress against you. Taha ma anzalna alayka al-Quran li tashqa. Allah says in Surah Taha, we have not sent this Quran down to you in order that it be a means of your distress. Not at all. These rules and regulations are there to protect you, to give you the feeling of appreciation, not only within you, but others will appreciate you too, to make you feel loved and comforted and good to develop your character, your conduct to make you reach out to people. And this is why the teachings of the Prophet wasallam, when you have something material, don't show off, don't boast, don't brag. Do you know why? Because you will hurt the hearts of others who cannot afford it. If you're living in a poor neighborhood and you have the latest motor vehicle, there is no need to go out and show off when everyone's hearts are going to be sore because of you showing it off. But if you're a wealthy person living in a wealthy neighborhood, there is no harm to keep up with what is going on if you can afford it and it's not prohibited. So my brothers and sisters, this is a balanced message. We should enjoy ourselves. Yes, we must spend more time with our family members. That will bring about a lot of contentment. Be patient. Don't get angry. Control your temper. All this will bring about a lot of contentment. And remember Allah, build your relationship with Allah. Build your relationship with the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Read about his life. Read about his sunnah. Adopt his practice. We all want paradise, but when we get there on the day of judgment, will the Prophet peace be upon him recognize us? That's a question I want you to ask yourselves. We all want to drink from the great pond known as Al Kawthar. We all want the intercession of Muhammad, peace be upon him. Will he recognize us? Make an effort to dress in a way that you'll be recognized as a Muslim. Make an effort to speak in a way that you'll be recognized as a Muslim. Stay away from vulgar words, bad words, brothers and sisters, as a father, as a brother, as a person living in this generation. I want to plead with you. Please clean your tongue. May Allah help me to do that as well as all of us. Don't utter vulgar words, bad words, even if it happens to be in a song that you've heard or a challenge you might want to participate in. There is no point in participating in challenges. My brothers, my sisters that have such bad words that the angels are writing them against us. And we will arrive on the day of judgment with so many evil words. Some of the children say more swear words and vulgar words than they ever utter the remembrance of Allah. What part of the scale would you like to be tipped, my beloved children? Please, let's utter clean words, good words. Let's turn to Allah. People are struggling. They're suicidal simply because the challenges will never end. The words will become dirtier. The challenges will become more and more immoral. 
We cannot allow ourselves to be let loose and continue engaging in all of this without thinking what we're supposed to be doing as Muslimin. More and more children are not happy with their lives because subhanallah following some trends on social media. My brothers and sisters, it's time we revisited some of the apps on our phones and trust me, if Allah has disliked something, you can, you can uninstall that app and say goodbye to it and do something better. How many of us have the Quran on our phones? We have so many good apps on our phones that we never ever use. And the ones that have foolishness on them, every day we're on them to the degree that some of those who are practicing are losing the plot. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. I don't mean to sound hard or harsh. It's a reality on the ground. We have to talk about it, my brothers and sisters. You will leave behind a legacy, leave behind something that you will be proud of. Don't ever leave something that will really embarrass you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us contentment. May Allah protect us. May Allah protect us from the diseases May Allah grant us cure. May Allah open our doors. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on all of us, all those going through struggles. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alleviate those struggles. Those who've passed on, may Allah have mercy on them. My brothers and sisters, with much love, much kindness, I say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi. Question Do you have a Quran or Bible in your phone? <laughs> <laughs> do you have either of those? I do have a Bible and a Quran. You? Yes, one brother. Um, I think from this, um, from the comment section below, he actually uh, sent, I mean, the, the Quran version of a, I mean, not a, a version really, but an app where you can, it yeah, on. suggested an app. So I went in and, and, and downloaded it, and yeah, most probably. So what do you think about the video? It's like what we were saying at the other video, in the other video. Uh, it's all about the mind and what you think about. Why should you... I mean, we shouldn't be fooled by certain things that we see. For example, social media is a big thing for us nowadays. We go out there, see our friends doing great, um, eating all these great foods, going to fancy places or having or possessing the best of clothes that you ever think about handbags um earrings whatever the case is and to us to some people they get touched by that and they're like maybe god doesn't love me you make yourself sad hence maybe that may lead to depression mm -hmm. at the end of the day we also end up trying to impress other people we start acting like those people do you understand you could, we just want to eat the good stuff and I feel like as a result we end up um, even saying close to people that are bad for us I know this person is going to hurt my feelings I know this person is not good for my soul I know this person will always make me sad but I'll stay by them because I'm in need of that attachment whether it's negative or positive um at the end of the day whatever the situation whether um what can i say whether you're poor you're rich all those things don't matter what's going to matter is how um you're being led in this uh world do you believe that god has control over your life do you believe that no you don't need that you can do everything on your own it's all up to you what do you have to say uh, pretty much you've just said everything but uh, what I'll say normally this is what I tell people don't 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 make social media use you use social media do you understand so now a lot of people in this day and age are being used by social media why am I saying this because uh, 
one might go into social media whether TikTok or whatever and see uh, a trending whatever things so you see that this particular trend is overpowering that particular gentleman or lady and it goes on to be used by that social media particularly so you end up seeing somebody just spending the entire day focusing on one particular thing and not even doing something of essence or something of good or something that can raise their vibration or maybe raise their status to a point where you know uh, you can be a greater person in life or something like that. I'm not saying that you can't be a greater person in life using social media and this is the point where I'm saying use social media don't let social media use you you get my point you can be you can use social media in a good way in a in, in different manner you understand and if you really understand what social media is all about and what is it that I can get good from it then you begin to understand that ha huh, so um, I need to create time which is going to create value and then changes to maybe um, what do you call this maybe money or something like that you understand so it's 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 more like more like uh, you're using it to elevate yourself from one particular point to another but people use it in a different manner a lot of people want to use it because they want to gain fame okay after films what next do you understand uh, people want to use it to just change their images you know disguise themselves and those are the people who are actually ending up being depressed because at the end of the day that's not your real you do you understand that in social media people live more richer in social media compared to their to their own lives <laughs> because no one would want to post anything sad in their social media or no one would want to post anything that will demean themselves i've never had anyone say hey what's up everybody today i failed so bad i you know i i got into a fight and i got beaten i mean <laughs> or i did this or i did that you will always see good things on their on their on their what on their feed and i think this is more psychologically because it tends to be like if you put more good stuff on this feed people are going to like you more people are going to you think so that's them uh, people are going to render me as a good person or maybe as a as a rich fellow you know luring people into your life do you understand but in the real in the real life situation you don't have all these kind of things so i mean it's more of social media itself it's fake do you understand i mean if you and there's, it, there's even more to that it's that uh, is it it's just that um we're just seeing the surface aspect of it but if you go deeper you'll actually realize all these things are made up just to collect your data and all those kind of stuff but anyway uh yeah so and another thing he said is one thing about i don't know i really don't know much about depression i don't want to say what i say is mm -hmm. what goes but another thing he said is um did he say watch your tongue or mind your tongue yeah what we say sometimes is what we become do you understand yeah. so if i'm saying i'm rich i'm rich <laughs> maybe that will come to be power of the tongue but if you're always saying something negative mm -hmm. nothing good to say always swearing that would be your life that would define your life at some point it may not mean um anything now but you don't know how that will affect you in future it's very true i mean you can't just be saying spending the whole time just what just like what he said spending all time on social media and not even thank god in there or maybe not saying not spending just five minutes to thank your creator you know or even spending like a few minutes to just call your mom call your dad the people who actually uh took care of you when you're at a when you're a toddler until this age is still care for you do you understand i mean you focus so much on social media until you forget that there's real life existing out of you like you have people around you yeah exactly so basically it makes you become a zombie you know like totally a zombie anyway uh make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next reaction video i'm deuces